We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Let's get a little bit more light. It is Friday. We're back. It's been a couple of weeks. Thank you all for coming back and, and checking out the next uh, the next edition of this uh, episodic series. We're sort of taking a look at Power of the Force Two Fridays. Uh, Power of the Force Two figures from the uh, from the mid mid to late nineties. It's a childhood era for me. It's this is this is my vintage. <laughs> um, and yeah, wanted to wanted to dump something different. Um, this is almost a little bit of a two for one here with a Han Solo in Carbonite, um, a really cool one actually. I I still like this Carbonite block. It's a little bit sort of out of scale, but I still think it's actually better scaled than some of the current ones. And I'll, I'll take a look at the most recent um, Carbonite block shortly. But um. I'm just literally using my fan remote just to prop him up. So we'll get a look at. <laughs> Not doing a very good job. Not a fan. Uh, so yeah, not too different from the other Han Solos um, in terms of the head sculpt. There's not a whole lot of difference there. Um, For the night for these nineties figures, I think it looks alright. Obviously, they're still still at the time. This was quite an early release, so he's still got that sort of triangular muscle body, but he's not as ripped as Lando. <laughs> Lando had that six pack and well defined chest, and, and so did Luke for that matter. Let's see if I can grab the original Han Solo as well. He's just in reach. So he's probably toned down a little bit. He's a little bit more triangular. But I don't think the heads are, are different at all. I think they're the same heads. Maybe some slight differences in, in the paint there. But um, yeah, I don't think there's much difference there. It's just a slight... I think the sculpt's the same. But um, yeah, we'll just put the uh, other hand. Because this is the one we're talking about. We're talking about... Or thought out, thought out Han Solo. <clears throat> it does come with this, with this blaster, which sort of came with a few of the, a few of the weak way guards, I think, and sort of the skiff guards. This is sort of their gun. Um, Jedi Luke, I think, came with this same same blaster pistol. I could be wrong. I still haven't yet gone to task and tried to marry up all the figures with their weapons. With the power of the force, they're all just sort of holding random. They're all power of the force weapons, but um, yeah, they're not all accurate. So it's kind of nice when I do these videos, I can double check and make sure I've got the got the right weapons. So they're getting there. So let's get a look at the carbonite block. So I don't think that's too bad at all. I reckon this is still still holds up nicely. It's a bit bigger. We got the little stickers on the side there for all the switches and the panels. You now this is where the, the interesting thing is, so you could just snap him in there, turn him around, and boom, he's hidden. And then you could, you know, have him dropping out of the carbon block with, you know, Princess Leia in the Boosh outfit, which is one I still don't have in Power of the Force. I need to get that one. So in comparison to this one here, this is the, the sort of newest one. Yeah, it probably looks a bit nicer. It's a little bit more accurate in size, but I don't know. You look, he's a bit shorter. You know, if I've got a current figure too to line him up with, you know, he's, he's probably shrunken down in there a little bit. Just needed to be that little bit bigger. You can kind of see. Yeah, even the even the figure that this one came with back in the, I think they re-released it in TVC. I can't recall, but they did it. Certainly did it in the uh, 
in the three and three quarter inch black series. I don't think they have re-released it actually. I, I think that one's still on the on the list. First one with the magnet in it um, from the palace diorama. So yeah, a little bit different, but this one still holds up well. If this is you know a little bit more in your budget to find a hardened carbonite block, you know this one still holds up quite well. I think. Still nicely sculpted, nicely detailed. Again, like, got all the panels. Yeah, works perfectly for the uh, Power of the Force display, particularly. It was a cool, cool idea as a kid, you know. I don't think I ever had this one as a kid. I think this is a, this was an adult edition. But it's uh, it's been longer since I became an adult now than it was between being a kid and an adult. <laughs> So it's uh, memory starting to blur a little bit in terms of when I got some of these figures and how I got them. But yeah, this is this is a nice one to have. I was trying to go and get a few more of the Jabba's Palace one again. Sort of missing out on the Boosh, the Boosh layer. That's one that still needs to uh, find a home in my collection. But I think this is pretty damn cool. I always liked Han in the uh, just in the white shirt. Out of the carbonite, no jacket. I still think, uh, in terms of like current modern figures in vintage collection, I think we're still awaiting the uh, the definitive version. I do, I'm using a little bit of a custom one, which has had a couple of head swaps and stuff that I'm using on my sail barge at the moment, or the skiff, to be exact. And uh, yeah, I don't have the vintage one to compare to because it is a last 17 figure and that's just one I probably don't see myself getting at any point soon. Just a little bit out of price range. Some of those last 17 figures, they're all, they're all getting up there now. And it's uh, not really the focus of my collection. If they manage to show up one day, cool. But yeah, like I said, not really a focus. More into, you know, maybe getting finishing up the Power of the Force at some stage. So again, uh, thank you very much for watching another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. Let me know in the comments what you think. Any requests or ideas, please drop them down below. Um, I do have a complete playlist of every one of these I've put out. So you can go through, scroll back through there, and see what I've done, see what I've missed. And uh, yeah, put through your requests. I'd love to, love to get to some other figures. I've got a few ideas of what I'm going to get up to in the next few weeks. And I think in a couple of months, I'm going to do a little bit of a switch and do some Phantom Menace stuff, given it's the 25th anniversary of the Phantom Menace. So I'll do some Phantom Menace figures from arguably the same era, 1998, 1999. So, all right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. I'll see you again very soon. Till then, may the Force be with you always.